I am in Pixabay and I'm looking for an image that shows someone filming another person in the studio. Okay, we've got some nice options here. I like this image. In my scribe, I would like to show the difference in time between creating a whiteboard animation for a client, for example, and then going out and filming a real live video where you have actors, where you have a set, where you have lighting and a bunch of equipment to indicate that it is much faster to create a whiteboard animation than it is to create a real life setup with these actors and lighting and crew and so on. So I'm going to click on this image, go to the free download option here, and I will download that in 1920 by 1079. It's a JPEG, so it works with Video Scribe as we know. If I went to the next size up, it would slow down Video Scribe for me because it would be a pretty big file. You can do that. If you were going to zoom in on the image, you would want to go with a higher resolution, but I'm not going to be zooming in on this image, so I'm going to stick with the 1920 by 1070 there. So I've downloaded that. Okay, let's go back in Video Scribe. We'll go up to the add image icon, click on it. We'll click and we'll go down to the folder here so we can import that JPEG. And within my Video Scribe promo folder that I have on my desktop, I have the JPEG there. So I'll open that. Let's hit the check mark. And we will move this image here and lock that camera setting. Next, I'm going to click on the Video Scribe text element in the timeline, copy and paste that, drag it over to the right of the timeline. And then I'm also going to drag it over here above the real live actor film shoot, go into properties, go into the T here. And I'm going to type in shooting video, hit the check mark, hit the check mark. And the last element I would like to have shown on this particular scene is a clock. So I want to indicate that the video scribe way of creating a video takes a fraction of the time to create compared to shooting a video with real people. So let's go back up to add image icon, click on that, type in clock, enter. So there are no clocks here that really indicate a fraction of the time, right? Like they have numbers on them. Let's look at the paid options. Okay, I'm looking for something like this here. Let me just click on it for a second so it will show bigger. So I'm looking for a clock that shows, I'd like it to indicate a fraction of the time. So I do like that the clock here has this little sliver emphasized in red, but I'm looking specifically for a clock that shows a fraction of the time. So it would need to be bigger than this. And as you'll see, you can buy this image for 370. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to create my own image. So I'm going to click the X here, click the X here. And in the next lesson, we're going to look at how I illustrate my own images and bring those into the scribe.